Shadow has just announced upgrades to the boost tier. The boost tier will now be called the Neo Boost tier. This will be a free upgrade for current boost subscribers. Ready for the details? Let's dive in. Amy from the Shadow Discord has their update regarding their new release. I'll read it here and then we'll go over what exactly is happening. And of course, I'll give my two cents about it. Hi everyone, we hope you're well. It's been a while since we talked about upcoming features and offers. Let's take a moment and share what the next few months will bring concerning an important topic, the renewal of one of our flagship offers and configurations. In 2025, Shadow Boost will evolve into a brand new gaming experience. So what'll happen exactly? Boost will become Neo Boost, moving to a powerful AMD Epic 9354P 3.25 GHz CPU, 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Lovelace 16 gigabytes GPU. Consequently, its performance will leap forward and Neo Boost will let you enable RTX, DLSS, and NVIDIA's frame generation in all your favorite games. New machines will be deployed gradually starting early May until later this summer. For our current subscribers, the official update will be automatic and free of charge. In short, for current Boost customers, Neo Boost will cost €29.99, period. There's no need to refresh your account page every day. You'll be informed of your migration period ahead of time via email. New customers who subscribe to the current Boost offer until the release of Neo Boost will also benefit from the offer at the same pricing conditions. Replacing thousands of GPUs will take us several months, but a few servers are already online in Europe. Therefore, we're pleased to announce the launch of the Neo Boost Early Access program starting today. Well, yesterday. It allows European customers to get Neo Boost now and provide feedback to the Shadow team. This early access is open in ultra limited quantities to our European Boost customers for a 19 euro migration fee with no change to their monthly subscription pricing. It's also available to some new customers for 36.99 euros a month with a three month commitment. This early access offer is an important step for Shadow. It'll allow us to guarantee Neo Boost the best possible launch. Beyond the spec renewal, the team has worked hard to completely reshape our technical architecture and make it more robust, more flexible, and more efficient. This will let us offer you new features quicker and make Shadow a smoother experience. We'll tell you more about these new features soon. And voila, we're super glad to tell you all this today. We've been working on it for months and we've been putting all our energy into it. We hope Neo Boost will meet your expectations. Many new things are coming and we hope to have your support. Merci and we'll talk again soon. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack here. Let's talk about the hardware upgrades first. The new Neo Boost will have some of the latest generational hardware. A fourth generation AMD Epic processor, which should blow the old Boost tier CPU away. Granted, the CPU will be four full cores, hyper-threaded into eight virtual CPUs again, but, you know, an upgrade's an upgrade. Plus, they now have the NVIDIA RTX 2000 ADA, which is an ADA Lovelace RTX 40 series GPU. This GPU should have similar power to an RTX 4060 or just slightly less. This will now provide access to ray tracing, DLSS, including DLSS frame gen. Access to these technologies alone will be a significant upgrade. Now, don't forget about the 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM as well. Now, as stated, this upgrade will be free for current Boost users, but it will take Shadow several months to get the old hardware replaced. We're looking at May for the start of this transition. In the meantime, though, they do have limited quantities for an early access program available right now for Europeans only. What's weird, though, is that they're charging a 19 euro fee for migrating your current boost tier. Monthly price stays the same for this early access. There is a price increase for new customers at 37 euros a month with a three month commitment. So my question is, what's going to be the monthly price for new customers once the Neo Boost tier is ready to roll later this year? Oh, this can't be good. I'm guessing the price is going to be around 40 euros or 40 dollars a month. So if you're looking for the price to stay the same, buy it now and get grandfathered in. Link in the description. 
So the last thing they mention is that Shadow has reshaped our technical architecture. They go on to mention that this will make Shadow a smoother experience. I can only think that this means that they have upgraded the decoder to give us a much smoother streaming experience, especially at 4K. Hopefully this is what they mean. Cross your fingers. Now let's take a look at the FAQs here as a final look. Most of these issues we have already talked about, but here's the ones that stand out. Why did you wait so long to upgrade Boost? Major technical and structural changes, not visible to our customers, were gradually implemented to the point of changing the entire technical basis of our infrastructure. These far-reaching changes, which are still in progress, were necessary before we could offer new services. I hope this is exactly what we're looking for, guys. A smooth experience from the decoder. I can't wait to test this out. Here's another people might be interested in. I live in North America. Will I be migrated to NeoBoost? Yes, our American customers, US and Canada, will also be migrated to NeoBoost in a second phase. The migration will start in Europe, then be initiated in North America. And the last one here, I'm a Boost customer. Will I pay more for my offer after migrating to NeoBoost? The answer is no. All of our existing Boost customers will be gradually migrated to the NeoBoost offer free of charge and will keep their current price as long as their subscription remains active. So again, if you are not a Boost tier subscriber and you want to keep the current price, because it looks like it's going to be going up, get it now to get grandfathered in. Link in the description. So that's about it guys. Shadow has all the updates here about the NeoBoost tier on their website. I'll put the link to this page in the description. And no guys, there's no news regarding upgrades on the Shadow Power Upgrade. If we get any news, we'll keep you posted, but it is interesting to note that if Shadow is undergoing a technical architecture change, these changes would have to be applied to the Power Upgrade as well. So I expect some upgrade news in the near future. So if you like this news update regarding the new Neo Boost here for Shadow, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle. <laughs>